Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a basic overview of the Point HD Trainer application which is a software based telestrator for PCs um, for use in uh, soccer type applications. So okay, let's uh, just explain what we're looking at here right now. Um, the screen you're looking at is the presenter's screen, so this would uh, be the interface screen um, during your presentation where you have all of the tools uh, down here in the toolbar. Uh, the toolbar and the tools can be customized to each individual presentation. Um, we have some control buttons over here which are our clear undo and redo. Uh, we have some navigational buttons that allow me to move from one scene to another. A scene is basically a template that holds the customized set of tools. So during presentations we can quite easily toggle between one scene file to another and this way we can keep our toolbar and our set of tools nice and neat and simple. Uh, we have a rectangle zoom tool which we'll come on to a little bit later and uh, we have a live preview button over here. Uh, basically the live preview button is to control the output window and uh, what you can't see right now is that on my second monitor is the actual audience output. So if I drag that in um, you can now see that uh, we have a viewing audience window so this would go out onto your second monitor display or to your projector or to your interactive whiteboard. Um, basically with this interface what happens is is that the viewer doesn't get to see the tools they only see the background video plus any of the annotations that you're going to place on the screen at any time. Okay, so let's just drag that window back out again so we can have a closer look at the presenter's interface. Um, the other buttons that we have over here is the snapshot button. This allows us to grab a still image of the background video plus any annotations that we've placed on the screen. So this is useful for uh, uh, having a library of handout notes and pictures that you can give at the end of the presentation. And uh, basically we have a no pick tool. Um, this freezes the graphics on screen so we'll show you how that's being used a little later on. And we have our close button which is to exit the program and go back to the main Point HD trainer menu. And this button over here it allows us to record the video presentation as we're doing the presentation and save that as a video file if you wanted to keep uh, video clips of your presentation. Okay, so let's have a closer look at some of the tools within Point HD Trainer. Um, in this particular toolbar, I've set up uh, a number of tools. Uh, so here we have a basic line draw tool. So this is like your electronic pen that uh, you can use to draw and write on screen. Uh, we have some stretchy arrows, so these are quite neat to use to point and highlight particular sections. Uh, I've actually added a couple of uh, different colored arrows within my toolbar. Of course you can add as many or as little tools as you want in your own custom setup. And um, to do nice curved arrows we have another tool for that. So again if you're wanting to do nice curves we can uh, do that with the curved arrow tool. Um, the graphic button that you see down here at the bottom that I'm going to use next, I you can set this up in a number of different ways. I've set it up so that we can actually have uh, an auto numbering uh, system. So every time I click on the screen I can uh, place an auto number. Now this method is quite useful when you're talking to uh, the uh, audience and um, instead of just referring to the players by names you can actually say number one Joe, number two Fred and that way your viewing audience actually knows which uh, players you're talking about. Um, the spotlight tool is a real-time spotlight and um, you can have uh, and place as many tools as you want on the screen there is no limitation so again if you want to use a combination of tools at any time you can do so. The split line tool again that animates um, a split line between two points so if you're trying to show point to point 
then that's uh, another little tool in your arsenal and um, here we have a zoom tool and to show you how we can set up each individual tool to function slightly differently I've added um, three different zoom types into my zoom button so each one of these custom graphics has a different zoom factor associated with it and uh, the neat thing about the zoom tool is, is that uh, if you suddenly find that you need uh, more zoom uh, during your presentation then you can just simply drag one zoom over another and increase the zoom factor and so let's uh, hit the clear button and uh, show you our sky perspective the sky perspective tool um, brings up a list of um, labels and uh, it, on each one of these uh, labels you can associate a particular custom graphic so in this particular mode I've chosen to have uh, some name tags so again uh, you can bring in your own customized graphics that you wish to use and uh, this way it allows you dur during the presentation to pick and choose um, a particular graphic to place on screen we also have a circle tool uh, the circle tools again works in real time so you can size that up accordingly and again uh, you can then move that around the screen as you wish now over here we have the rectangle tool the rectangle tools used um, to highlight particular sections so again I've set this up to have a little shading in between and um, finally we have our uh, web tool so what this allows us to do is to bring in real-time web pages so the web pages can have um, uh, live video clips animations and uh, whilst we're in this mode which is our browser mode you can uh, browse any of the websites uh, links so let's go to another link down here and um, once you've uh, chosen a particular page for a link you can also then lock it which puts the web page into the background of the trainer uh, all of the animations and videos will still carry on and uh, now we can actually use any of the points tools from the toolbar to draw and annotate over that web page okay so um, to clear the web page and go back to our uh, original background video image we can click on to the clear web button and uh, that will then take us back into our um, uh, original video uh, picture okay so um, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to move on to my next scene so that I can show you our different ways of setting up the toolbars okay so let's click on the forward arrow button to move across to our next setup and um, in here what I've done is is that I've used the again the same standard arrows but this time I've added in some animations so again you can bring in your own custom graphics or use any of the sample applications and graphics within the point HD trainer um, to customize the look and feel of your graphics that you're going to use on screen so one extra tool that we've added uh, in this particular setup is our offside tool so you can use the offside tool in a soccer based application to show whether a player is uh, onside or offside um, of course you could also use this tool in any other um, situation where you want to maybe highlight a particular area or a section of the background video picture um, whilst we're in this uh, particular setup I'm also going to show you what the rectangle zoom does so with the rectangle zoom I can now select a portion of the picture that I want to zoom up and that will then zoom up to uh, the full screen um, rather than using the individual zooms that we had previously which only zoomed a portion of the picture so again you've got total flexibility in um, how you want to work with the point HD trainer in any particular situation 
and uh, if we now clear that zoom you'll see that it neatly goes back into its own uh, selected area so that the viewer can actually get an idea of where the zoomed part came from originally. Okay, so uh, we'll now move on to our next setup and scene. Okay, so if we click on to the forward arrow button once more, we can move to our next uh, setup. And uh, in here, I'm going to show you how we can uh, use some of the tools within the trainer to bring up team formations. Um, so as this is a soccer presentation, I'm going to bring in a soccer team and uh, this uh, brings up a complete set of uh, player graphics and uh, explains uh, how the team is going to play. Um, you can move individual graphics to perhaps show how during the course of the game maybe the team lineup is going to change. Um, of course, all of these graphics are custom graphics so you can bring in any graphics that you want so in this uh, second team tool button I've set up a different set of graphics apart from the faces so here we have uh, player shirts so basically you can bring in anything that you want um, and give your own um, look and feel so with the uh, sky perspective tool uh, that we had a quick look at before you can of course now just bring in certain key players that you want to perhaps talk about and uh, to show you the variety of different setups I'm now going to use my second uh, sky perspective tool and uh, in here I've uh, loaded up um, some picture graphics uh, to use as team uh, icons so this gives you a quick um, basic feel of how you can uh, use the uh, point trainer application for uh, different applications including soccer and uh, now we're going to take a look at another setup so okay if we click on to the forward arrow button once more uh, we can then move to our uh, next scene within the setup and in here what um, I've now chosen is to have a video clip and um, now you can see that whenever you're using a video clip uh, within your presentation you're, you also have a video controller um, so using the slider bar you can quickly navigate through the uh, video file to select particular points that you want um, you can then use any of the annotation tools that you have within the toolbar. Um, again, the, with the rectangle tool that we've got up here, we can zoom into a particular area of interest. And um, also, whenever we play the video, it will also play in its zoomed mode. Um, so that you're not just limited to a, a, a still zoom. So if we click on the clear button then we can go back to the video. Okay so um, this gives you a, a quick overview of how we can use the Point HD trainer application for different sports and in this particular application is for soccer. Thank you. Okay, so if we click on to the forward arrow button once more, we can move to our next uh, setup. And uh, in here, I'm going to show you how we can uh, use some of the tools within the trainer to bring up team formations. Um, so as this is a soccer presentation, I'm going to bring in a soccer team. And uh, this uh, brings up a complete set of uh, player graphics and uh, explains uh, how the team is going to play. Um, you can move individual graphics to perhaps show how during the course of the game maybe the team lineup is going to change. Um, of course all of these graphics are custom graphics so you can bring in any graphics that you want. So in this uh, second team tool button I've set up a different set of graphics apart from the faces. So here we have uh, player shirts so basically you can bring in anything that you want um, and give your own um, look and feel. So with the uh, sky perspective tool uh, that we had a quick look at before, you can of course now just bring in certain key players that you want to perhaps talk about. 
and uh, to show you the variety of different setups I'm now going to use my second uh, sky perspective tool and uh, in here I've uh, loaded up um, some picture graphics uh, to use as team uh, icons so this gives you a quick um, basic feel of how you can uh, use the uh, point trainer application for uh, different applications including soccer and uh, now we're going to take a look at another setup so okay if we click on to the forward arrow button once more uh, we can then move to our uh, next scene within the setup and in here what um, I've now chosen is to have a video clip and um, now you can see that whenever you're using a video clip uh, within your presentation you're, you also have a video controller um, so using the slider bar you can quickly navigate through the uh, video file to select particular points that you want um, you can then use any of the annotation tools that you have within the toolbar um, again with the rectangle tool that we've got up here we can zoom into a particular area of interest and um, also whenever we play the video it will also play in its zoomed mode um, so that you're not just limited to a, a, a still zoom so if we click on the clear button then we can go back to the video okay so um, this gives you a, a quick overview of how we can use the point HD trainer application for different sports and in this particular application is for soccer thank you so okay if we click on to the forward arrow button once more uh, we can then move to our uh, next scene within the setup and in here what um, I've now chosen is to have a video clip and um, now you can see that whenever you're using a video clip uh, within your presentation you're, you also have a video controller um, so using the slider bar you can quickly navigate through the uh, video file to select particular points that you want um, you can then use any of the annotation tools that you have within the toolbar um, again with the rectangle tool that we've got up here we can zoom into a particular area of interest and um, also whenever we play the video it will also play in its zoomed mode um, so that you're not just limited to a, a, a still zoom so if we click on the clear button then we can go back to the video okay so um, this gives you a, a quick overview of how we can use the point HD trainer application for different sports and in this particular application is for soccer thank you